Opening and closing of engine cowl doors. Before working on the engine, initial precautions have to be taken in the cockpit. On panel 115VU, put a warning notice stating not to start the engine. Make sure that the engine has been shut down for at least five minutes and that the corresponding master lever is in the off position. On panel 50 VU, make sure that the on legend of the engine FADEC ground power push button switch is off and install a warning notice. Then make certain that the slats are retracted and install a warning notice prohibiting use of the slats. If they are extended, retract them. The fan cowl and the thrust reverser cowl doors can be opened for maintenance and inspection. Opening of the fan cowl doors. Caution. Do not attempt to open the fan cowl doors if the wind speed is more than 65 knots or when the engine is running. First, unlock the three latches on the engine center line. For each latch, push the latch snap to release the handles. Pull the latch handle until the latch hook releases from its keeper. Manually lift and support the door at the lower edge. Two hold open rods are located inside the fan cowl door. Release the hold open rods from their brackets and connect them to their supports on the fan case. The two hold open rods must be unlocked to open the fan cowl door. Open the fan cowl door sufficiently to extend the hold open rods. Manually check the correct engagement of the hold open rods. Open the second fan cowl door. The other fan cowl door is opened in the same way. Each time check that the locking devices are properly engaged on the hold open rods. With the fan cowl doors open, the accessories mounted on the fan case and on the accessory gearbox are accessible. There are two opening positions, one at 40 degrees for routine maintenance and the second at 55 degrees for increased access. Opening of the thrust reverser doors. Caution. Do not attempt to open the thrust reverser doors if the wind speed is more than 40 knots. First, deactivate the thrust reverser system. Push and hold the hydraulic control unit lever to the forward frame and install the safety pin to put the thrust reverser system out of operation. On the engine center line, release the four latches. Push the snap to free the latch handle. Then pull down on the latch handle to disengage the latch hook from its attachment point. Before connecting the hydraulic hand pump, read the instructions written on the red plate located beside the quick disconnect of each thrust reverser half. Remove the dust cover from the quick disconnect and connect the hand pump. 
Make sure that the quick disconnect tube is correctly connected. Open the hand pump to pressurize the opening actuator until the reverser half reaches the fully open 45 degrees position. When the door is open, unstow the hold open rod from the fan case, then attach and secure it to its bracket on the thrust reverser door. Unload the hydraulic pump and disconnect it from the hydraulic manifold. Put the cap on the quick disconnect. The hand pump is used to open the other thrust reverser door. Once all doors are open, the engine accessories mounted on the fan case and engine core are accessible. The cowl closing sequence is exactly the opposite to the opening sequence. Make sure that the work area is clean and clear of tools and other items. The thrust reverser doors are closed first. To close a thrust reverser door, pressurize the hydraulic opening actuator to release the load from the hold open rod. Disengage the hold open rod from its bracket, stow and secure it to its attachment support on the fan case. Slowly open the hand pump relief valve. The actual rate of door closing should be controlled by the hand pump. However, as a safety device, the actuator has a metering valve which ensures a minimum door closing time. When the door is fully closed, disconnect the hand pump from the hydraulic manifold and replace the cap on the quick disconnect. Complete door closing by securing the latches. Engage and lock the four tension latches. Remove the inhibition pin from the hydraulic control unit lever to put the thrust reverser system back to the operational condition. Now close the fan cowl doors. Remove the aft and the forward hold open rods from their retention brackets on the fan case and stow them on the fan cowl door. The door can now be closed. Make sure that the hooks are released from the latch handles. Push the doors together 
and engage the latch hooks with their keepers. First close the front latch, then the centre and the rear ones. To finish this operation, check that the fan cowl doors are flush with the thrust reverser doors and the inlet cowl. Finally, in the cockpit, remove the warning notices from panels 50VU and 115VU and the slat control lever.